Hey guys, it's Brandon from Carfleet here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my top five favorite off road modifications for my fourth gen Ram 1500. Stay tuned. Alright, guys, so before we get started into my top five mods, I just want to say a quick disclaimer. This is just my opinion. And this is stuff that I've personally experienced, um, different mods that I've tested. This isn't stuff that I think is what is good. This is stuff that I've tested and I have on my vehicle and I think is a good mod. I'm not going to be saying stuff that I don't have, like for instance, lockers, just stuff like that. So this is just my opinion. This is my list and we will jump into the first thing on the list. Okay guys, so the first mod it's not in an order, it's just the first mod. I would suggest front and rear bumpers. If you guys wanna be hitting trails, like I'm not talking just mudding, I'm talking like decent off-roading um, over rocks and hard terrain. I'll show you guys some clips of my Ram going through some stuff. But you guys know stock Dodge Rams, they have a super low sitting bumper. Now my truck's lifted on 37, so it would still be it would be down here right now, probably. I'm not even kidding. You guys can see a huge difference in approach angle just from getting a different bumper. Now, why I think this is a good idea is this front bumper only cost me $140, guys. So basically, what I did was these mount this right here, here to here, without this, without these side pieces, here to here, without this bar, kind of just here, was actually supposed to go through a stock 2500 Ram bumper it actually goes through the stock bumper but i took my bumper off and i made this custom made it my own 140 bucks guys and now i can follow jeeps on trails and stuff mostly because of my approach angle i've seen a lot of stock rams and you guys will know that bumper sits down really low and it does affect your off-roading it also wraps around right whereas if you look you can see how open my wheels are and how much easier it is for my truck to get up over stuff so continuing my first mod would be the bumpers so this is the rear bumper i went with this was completely free i like to do stuff um i like to make stuff myself make all my stuff custom as much as i can it's a two bumper it i welded it to my frame you guys probably can find a better way to do it but these trucks are so long that even with this bumper, I still bottomed it out. I'll show you the clip here. Oh, okay, maybe not so good. The bumper. The bumper, hit your bumper. If you just go, it's just dirt. If you have your stock bumper, guys, which would, would sit down here, and your hitch, like that's over half the clearance back here gone. And you're getting hung up on a lot of stuff. I, I actually wheeled with my, my stock rear bumper and the hitch when I was on 33s with no lift and I got hung up all the time. So I was like, you know what? Like this has gotta be like a really good mod just to get some more clearance. And like it proved to be amazing. Like I can go up really steep inclines now with this bumper the way it is and it won't hit the ground. But since it's so long, sometimes you'll still see like my frame will actually hit the ground. And what I did guys, if you're thinking of doing it this way, I actually mounted it above where my hitch will sit. So if I ever want to use my hitch, it slides right into the stock location. You just bolt it in and you got your hitch on, you can tow, you can do whatever. And then when you hit the trails, you can pull it off and that's it. I have my wires back here underneath. So I wouldn't delete it completely because you never know when you will need it. But I would say this is my number one mod front and rear bumpers super important for the ram you're probably realizing there's something missing here and that is my rear sway bar and honestly rear not as important as the front on these trucks the rear with its solid axle it actually with the sway bar has a lot of flex but it's not really the rear i wanted to talk about it's more the front so let's go up there up at the front here this is where the stock front would sit right and bolt up here come around and you'd see your link here i deleted the front and rear but guys up front deleting your sway bar makes a huge difference now it's 100 up to you guys if you want to delete it on road and off road 
or just when you get to the trail, you just unbolt it. I chose to delete it permanently, even though my truck's pretty tall, obviously it sways more than stock, but without it, it's not too bad, but I don't recommend just going out and ripping it off. It's up to you guys, make the decision. Just make sure you think of safety over off-roading capabilities. My front wheel guys, when I went off-roading the first time without my front, would tuck super high and it made a huge difference. I'll show you guys actually this little clip here of me completely flexed out by accident. Okay, okay, that's flexed out there. That's sick. Yeah, you guys can see how far these front wheels tuck. It also makes the ride on road just a little smoother. Um, but then you do have the sway side to side, a lot of body roll, especially with a truck this size. So it's up to you guys, like I said, make the smart decision. Um, do what you guys wanna do. You can probably get quick release. Um, like I said, the rear the rear makes a, makes a big difference as well, but it's already pretty good with the sway bar. Yeah, guys, that's number two, sway bar delete. Deleting the sway bars before you hit the trail or just deleting them permanently. So for number three, as you'd probably expect on this list, it's gonna be a lift kit. Now, from experience, I've wheeled with a, a little level kit up front in 33s before I went to 37s and a three inch body lift. So I can tell you from experience that the body lift that I have, now obviously suspension lifts are better. Body lifts fit my budget for around 500 bucks off Amazon. I got my truck three inches higher, cab a little higher off the ground, which is exactly what you need in these long full-size rigs. Suspension lift would be the better. It's more expensive though. I don't have that type of money, unfortunately. So I went with a body lift and it's been completely awesome. But just to show you guys what I mean. So even with the body lift guys, in some cases, I've still bottomed out my cabs. Now you can see these are destroyed. This dent happened with the 33s and no lift. But on the other side, I still scuffed it even with the lift on a rock. I went right over it, scuffed my pinch welds. So imagine if I didn't have <laughs> the three inch lift in that case. I would be destroyed pinch welds and destroyed corner on the other side. But the lift guys for 500 bucks, I haven't had any issues with it at all. It's made this truck so much better off road. These are chopped fenders. So don't, don't look at those. I had rust under here. I chopped them. <laughs> you guys don't have to do that. But so the three inch body lift would be number three for me. I think it did a really good job at making this just that much more capable. Like my buddies have lifted Jeeps, I can still go over more stuff than them just because of how high up it is now. But at the same time, it's not too high. I just got a three inch body lift. I believe I have a slight level up front, but it's not like a monster truck. It does really well, side walling and everything. I'm not worried about rolling over. The one thing that caught my eye guys with these body lifts for the Ram is how it actually underneath in terms of seeing your pucks and stuff they're completely hidden it's really shocking because these fourth gen rams the body lifts like you can't see them at all obviously i've chopped my fender liners you can see them now but you can't see them if you're running stock and i think that's really cool yeah you guys can do the research on the body lifts you guys know about them um, do your own research if you want to get one or not but this is 500 bucks and it's got me crazy far off road but in terms of budget this is a budget build um, super budget build. I don't have much money to be spending on rigs and stuff. So I try to do as much as I can myself and try to go the cheaper route. So body lift guys, number three. So number four on my list is obviously a given, just like the lift with basically every off-road vehicle um, is big mud terrain tires. So these are actually Nexon Rodian MTXs. Um, they're like a knockoff brand. They're, they're cheap. They were $12.50 Canadian for four, brand new. And they're 37 by 1250 R17s. And I got them on 17 by eight rims. These tires have been absolutely amazing. Like I said, they're 37s. If you guys want to be hitting some hard trails, the lowest I would go is 35s. If you guys want to be doing some like technical stuff, because I had the 33s guys. And I went from 33s to 37s. Huge difference off-road. You just go over rocks that would you'd struggle with on 33s. And it gets that frame off the ground. 
with your bigger wheels. So that for these long wheelbase vehicles, that's a good, uh, that's another little addition. Um, I like these tires a lot, actually. I wouldn't change what tires I bought. They got lots of grip. I always air them down to like 18 pounds. And also it does make your gas drop a lot. Like your, your ram will be really bad on gas if it isn't already. <laughs> so just a heads up. But yeah, 37s or 35s, I would say, if you want to be hitting those technical trails. And that will be number four is get yourself some beefy tires for off-roading because you need them. <laughs> Okay guys, so what my fifth mod was gonna be was rock sliders. Um, I don't have them yet. I haven't built them yet. I'm gonna be making them completely by myself, custom. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you guys subscribe. We're gonna be making um, rock sliders for my Ram and my buddy's Jeep XJ. So I can't put it on the list because I can't give you guys like an experienced perspective but I do really want them. And for that reason, they're gonna be an honorable mention, but I just can't put them on the list if I haven't experienced them. But I definitely know rock sliders are a good mod, especially on something this long. Like we've said before, these trucks are really long. So the more protection and higher you can get off the ground in the middle, the belly area, the better. So rock sliders, honorable mention, and on to number five, the last mod. Okay guys, every off-roader knows number five has to be the red painted diff obviously that's so mod number five a little bit different than the rest it's gonna be some little things that i've put in the interior to make off-roading a little bit easier little gadgets as you would say so the first one inside is we have a light bar um switch so that goes to my light bar up top and my pod lights up front yeah, I love these guys. They've been so loyal. I've had them on so many different trucks. Um, this is a good mod if you guys need some extra light at night. Definitely helps. Super easy to install if you get the just the harness. And the other one, CB radio, guys. Um, I never got one for the longest time, and I finally did. And I will never, ever have another rig without it. It is so good. You got your buddies on the line you're off-road and you're talking having a good time you're you're using it for safety things like some guy flies around a corner on an fsr telling your buddy hey buddy watch out guys coming around hot so you can brace for impact <laughs> and just stuff like that these are super handy this one was like a hundred bucks and i have a pa speaker in my hood so i can talk to everybody outside it's like a little that one's fun to use as like a little party trick. <laughs> but yeah, CB radio guys, another little gadget in the interior. And the next one, last but not least, would be a little clinometer. It's nothing major. It's not gonna make you the best off-roader in the world, but it is a little gadget. It looks really cool and it gives you some information on what's happening with your vehicle. Cause sometimes like I know from experience guys, when you're driving, stuff seems a lot more hectic than it actually looks outside so just a little gadget like that doesn't hurt 40 bucks number five is just going to be some interior gadgets some stuff that'll make your life a little easier off-road okay guys that's the end of the video those are my top five mods for your fourth gen ram if you're thinking of off-roading with it just another disclaimer guys i'm not a professional by any means i'm not a professional truck restorer truck builder i'm not a professional off-roader I'm just doing it for fun. These, this is once again, my opinion. Um, this is my mods that have made a difference that I've noticed. And let me, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what mods you think you agree with, what mods you think are better than some on the list. Um, and like I said, the build is not over, guys. We got a lot more stuff coming for the build. And I hope you guys stay tuned for that stuff. Make sure you guys subscribe. This video took me a long time to make. <laughs> Um, if you guys could take a second and hit the sub button, it means a ton to me guys. And if you could hit the like button to show that you enjoyed the video, if you did. So thank you guys a lot. I hope I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. I have a lot of off-roading videos. If you guys want to check those out as well, I wheel this thing a lot. There's a lot of videos on the channel. If you like the build, go check them out guys and enjoy those videos too. They're a lot of fun to make the off-roading videos and they're actually pretty good wheeling on there. So. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.